So far you have made a mistake and married. You must make a mistake to control the marriage. Luke 16 verse 18. Any man who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery. Child. And the man who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Child. Malachi chapter 2 verse 16. I hate divorce. I hate divorce. Says the Lord God of Israel. Says the Lord God of Israel. I hate it when one of you. I hate it when one of you. Does such a cruel thing to his wife. Does such an evil thing to his wife. Make sure that you did not break your promise. Make sure that you did not break your promise. To be faithful to your wife. To be faithful to your wife. First Corinthians 7, 10 and 11. For married people. For married people. I have a command. I have a command. Which is not my own. Which is not my own. But the Lord. The Lord command. A wife must not leave her husband. A wife must. The language is M-O-U-S-T. A wife must not leave her husband. But if she does. If she does, she must remain single. If you dare to leave your husband for any reason, you are to remain single. Or else be reconciled to her husband. Or else go and reconcile with your husband. And the husband must not divorce his wife. And the husband must not divorce his wife. Are you hearing the word of God? Mark chapter 10, 11 to 12. Mm hmm when they went back to the house mm -hmm. the disciples asked jesus about this matter he said to them uh -huh. a man who divorces his wife uh -huh. and marries another woman wow commits adultery a man who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against his wife against his wife in the same way in the same way a woman who divorces her husband a woman who divorces her husband and marries another man and married another man commits adultery commits adultery we don't understand what marriage is all about a close lawyer was telling me the level of divorce right now in abuja i'm not even talking about american uk europe as a whole a lot of women are leaving their husband a lot of men are leaving their wife a man who divorces his wife and married another woman, you are committing adultery. And a woman who divorces his husband and marry another, you are committing adultery. Any preacher that wants to preach to you this message I'm preaching now, in the language you will understand, and try to romance words, listen to me, that preacher is not a child of God. On the last day, many false preachers will come that will like to tell you something that you will hear for the church jesus said that judgment will start from the house of god the evil has started in the church so far you have made a mistake and marry you must make mistake to continue the marriage let's say you that is a mistake in your marriage or you married a woman that he did not do the investigation properly and marry her or you did not do investigation properly and married him and the priests have wedded two of you two of you have done the traditional right and wedded if the marriage is not working that authority will tell two of you you can stay apart for counseling they will be talking to the man talking to the woman trying to reconcile the differences then at the process if the differences could not be resolved incompatible that two of you cannot be together you will remain single. You will not marry again. Anytime you marry, you are committing adultery. It's not easy. This teaching is not easy. But just read the whole thing I told you now. Many don't understand this. That is why you will see one powerful man of God in Nigeria that divorced his wife. But he has not married since that time. What is the cause of divorce? Most of men who don't tell their wife the truth. I have a hotel in Abuja. I have two hotels in Owere. I have four hotels in uh, Portacot. And you will deceive this woman. She will come into your life and find out you have nothing. You will see, most of the lady will say, oh, he lied to me. I can't stay with a man that lied. She's right. But she has made a mistake. That is why before you marry somebody, investigate. 
Some men use my teaching that they because say we should not have sex to each other. And you know that your manhood is not working. That your manhood that are the bottom of no Allah. You use because of my teaching and you hide it. He said we should not make love before marriage. Yes, it is my teaching. And I, I taught you the, the scripture. That sex before marriage is sin. If you hide such a thing, and if you're a wise woman, and a man is telling you, I should not have sex, fine, that is my teaching. But you should go to the hospital to verify whether this man is okay or not. God is not interested in that, your mistake. Marriage is something that before you enter, you make sure you know what you're entering into. So many women have no womb, they will hide it. Instead of you to tell this man, as I'm a Christian, I don't have womb. Doctor said I, don't, I will not have a child. You hide it. At the end, the man will find out that you don't have a womb. He will file divorce. Is it the will of God? No. Is you are ignorant that you could not make your research properly? Why didn't you make research before you marry? God is not interested in your mistake. If you marry the divorced woman, you are committing adultery. If you divorce your husband or a wife, sin. Tell the man on time, I don't have a womb. Tell the woman on time, my manhood is not working. I have body odor. That is what they do in the church. Catholic church as example. There are kind of things you will hide from your wife. The church will do what they call nullification, not just divorce. Like if you, if you can hide that you don't have a womb and, the, and you marry. The church will nullify the marriage on the basis that there have not been a marriage before. Cause of divorce is that today civilization and human rights have destroyed our sense of reasoning. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20 to 22. The Bible made it so clear. Your husband is your head. Be submissive to your husband in everything. But you, you came into a man's house. You want to be in charge. If he say one, you will say two. You forgot that there cannot be two captains in a boat. There is no negotiation about it. He is the head of the family. You don't marry your husband the way American government put it. Married that man according to the scripture. Man, love your wife as Christ loved the church and died for the church. What does it mean? As a man, you should be ready to give out even your life for the sake of the woman you love. Most of the things that cause divorce today that, that may send many people to hellfire is selfishness. Your husband will file for you 